Hey, how's it going? An interesting day today. I managed to get a bit of uh, space to gather my thoughts from yesterday after a kind of a, a big workshop like that where lots of ideas have been firing. It's, um, it's a good practice that I've got into of spending a little bit of time just quietly sitting down with no distractions and just kind of get it, making sense of the notes that I've made. And um, although I'm not finished with that process yet, it's the, the key thing for me is deciding, well, what is it that I'm going to do? What I have now is a list of questions that I'm going to sit down individually, uh, ask myself those questions and, and think about the answers to them. And I think that's where I'm going to get the most amount of value from the, the day I spent yesterday. So that's that, which is all good. Um, I, there was another inquiry came through, actually, through uh, DBA speakers. Diana emailed me earlier today and uh, it's for an event up in St. Andrews in Scotland. Again, just tentative inquiry at the moment. Her, her, her process is to contact me first and see if the dates are work for me because there's no point in going any further with a potential client if the dates aren't going to work for me. But the, the topic does sound absolutely bang in line. It's um, all about being your best self and how that relates to well-being, physical and mental health. So perfect for what I'm talking about and kind of where I'm at at the moment. So we'll have to see what comes from that. And I've also started that process I've spoken to her about um, what I was doing at British Land on when and Broadgate Estates on Wednesday, and also the um, the prospective uh, client uh, contact that I've had from one of my online members uh, speaking in June, I think that one is. So she's now in the loop with that one as well. So that's all good. And um, I was interestingly, I was sp speaking to one of my coaching clients today on our one-to-one -one call about these videos. And I was using it as a as an example of how, well, let me kind of back up a second. He's, he's looking at introducing a number of um, fairly kind of low level, but high value actions for his well-being. So this particular one is doing just a simple case of doing four or five minutes worth of press-ups and squats in the morning. So sort of 30 seconds press-ups, 30 seconds squats, three or four times through. And we were talking about how to begin with, it's about establishing the habit. You've got to con con completely separate yourself away from the, uh, the, the expected rewards, the results that you're hoping to achieve from doing that. So just doing a few minutes of press-ups in the morning, that ain't going to make a difference to weight loss, to health, to any of those other things that we, we might decide, right, these are the things I want to change. But actually you get that immediate reward of feeling like you're doing something. When I do press-ups and things in the morning, I get that immediate reward that I feel like I'm being disciplined. I'm being, um, I'm showing up as the person who I want to be. I'm the kind of guy who does press-ups in the morning. And that kind of sends a very short, strong signal to, to myself that this is how my day is going to go. I'm, I'm in charge. I'm in control. And I feel kind of really strong and powerful from from a very very simple. I mean, I do literally for for sixty seconds, if that, most days. Um, so so that was the first thing that the the the, the habit, the behaviour, disconnected from what we want the long term result and reward to be, and connected to what we want the short term reward. And it's the same thing. I used to meet these videos as an example for that. Long term, uh, maybe somebody one day will even watch these videos. I, I, but that's not the reason I'm doing it. The short term reward, the reason for doing these is that I get rewarded every single time I post it because it's like, you know what? I'm sticking with this bloody habit. I decided I was going to do this. I'm not. I'm going to follow this through. One year, video a day, boom, it's going to happen. And again, it sends a very strong signal to me that I'm the kind of person who commits to something and then sees it through. Um, and also it helps me with getting my ideas down, getting um, working through this, the format of video instead of written word, which is what I, I usually do. And um, yeah, just kind of tracking my journey. I guess that's the other real real thing. And I, I, every time I do this, I feel like, okay, another, another piece is in, is, it, is in play there, another step forwards. Um, knowing that I'm going to be doing these videos, like what am I going to do today that's going to move me forwards closer towards my goals? So it's it's given me a reward every single time I do it. It's not the outcome. Um, let, let's say some road, somewhere down the line, imagine the time where I have some subscribers to my YouTube channel, I have people watching the videos. You know, maybe that re that results in something else happening, another event. Um, as in, you know, that, that, that has a knock-on effect and there's kind of event after event. So it goes on and on and on. But if that, even if that doesn't happen, it's not the reward I'm looking for. Same for, for my, my client. 
the reward isn't just about weight loss, it isn't just about getting stronger, it's about actually doing it, the process, fall in love with the process, build the habits. So yeah, an interesting day today, productive one, um, a fruitful one, and some interesting thoughts there on, again, what these videos are really all about and what they mean to me. Catch you soon, bye for now.